Let's take a look at this cost value and profit analysis problem. This one, this one involves target income after tax. Okay, I'll read you what we see right here, right? Golf Glider makes gasoline powered golf carts. The selling price is eight, what is that, $5,000 each? And costs are as follows. So we see that direct materials, $2,000 per cart. Labor is $625. Uh, the company has determined that variable overhead is $325. There's $50 of variable selling cost per cart. The annual fixed production overhead is $250,000. And the annual fixed and selling administrative costs are $120,000. Now, they tell us that the tax rate is 40%. And Part A says, how many golf carts must Golf Glider sell to earn $600,000 after tax? Well, remember... 600,000 after tax would be a larger number before tax. And how you calculate that is really pretty straightforward. Um, what All you have to do is divide it by 1 minus the tax rate. Remember that if some number times the tax rate equals an answer, you can take the answer and divide it by 1 minus the tax rate, right? And that will tell you what number you started with. So if we take 600,000 and we divide it by 0.6, which is 1 minus the tax rate of 40%, we see that the desired after-tax income on a pre-tax basis is a million. Okay? Now, once we have that, um, we can move on. And to move on, probably the easiest way to do this is to set it up like this, where we set it up algebraically. Now you could do this in Excel, right, and solve for the unknown, but we'll solve it algeb algebraically here. So here's what we know. They sell the golf cart for $5,000 per unit. And uh, we're gonna let the golf cart stand for P. Okay, so the quantity of golf carts that must be sold to gener generate a million, we're going to let that variable stand for, stand for P. Or we're going to let that variable be P. 5,000 times the number of golf carts minus 3,000, that's our variable costs, right? Total variable cost is the 2,000 plus the 625 plus the variable overhead and the selling. So if we take 325 and 50, that's 375. 375 and 625 gets us 1,000. 1,000 plus 2,000 is 3,000. That's where that 3,000 comes from. And then we subtract the fixed cost, which is the total of both of these numbers here, the 250 and the 120. That gets us the left side of the equation. So what we're saying is $5,000 of sales times whatever ever many units we have to sell minus 3,000 variable costs times that same number of units, minus 370,000 should equal 1 million. And now all we've got to do is solve for P. So hopefully you remember from algebra to put your put uh, the unknowns on one side of the equation and everything else on the other. So 5,000 P minus 3,000 P will give us 2,000 P. And if we move 370 to the other side, we should get... Uh, 2,000 P equals 1,370,000. From there, divide both sides by 2,000, and you come up with P is equal to 685 golf carts. And that's Part A. Now, Part B says, what level of revenue is needed to yield an after-tax income equal to 20% of sales? All right. So, again, we start off with that first approach. You've got to find what's the after-tax equivalent uh, or before tax equivalent of 20%. It says after tax, but they mean uh, we want to determine the pre-tax equivalent. So if I take 20% um, divided by 1 minus 4%, then I know, <clears throat> excuse me, I want to come up with a pre-tax equivalent of 33%. Now, if variable cost is a percentage of sales are 3,000, then we know our variable costs are 60% of sales. Okay, so now if we let R equal the level of revenue that would generate a pre-tax return of 33%, we can set up this equation that you see here. Revenue minus 60% R minus 370 would then have to equal 0.333 R. All right? 
you want 33% of the revenue to equal what you have here. So it's just, again, algebraically. You could also do this in Excel, like I say, and in Excel for the unknowns. All right, so what's R minus 0.6R? Well, hopefully you know that's 0.4R. Move the th um, um, and then we're going to subtract 0.333 from it because we're going to move all the R's to one side. All right, so I've got 0.4R. Follow this again. 0.4R my, uh, um, um, equals 370. 0.4R minus 370 equals 0.333R. When we move this all to one side, we get 0.0667R equals 370,000. Okay, then just to, from there, divide both sides by 0.06667, and you're able to calculate that R would be equal to 5547226. Now, let's prove that number. Let me show you how. Okay, I've slid the screen down, and you can see here's the proof. If sales were equal to 5547, variable cost would be 60% of this. And this is where I say you could solve this in Excel. You could lay it out this way and fill in what you know, and then you'll be able to work backwards and figure out what you don't know. You didn't know what sales were, but you knew this number had to be 60% of it. That means this number is 40% of it. You knew fixed cost for 370. And you knew that um, uh, this would be the subtraction of those two numbers. The income tax is 40% of that number, and you could work this backwards. Okay, so then we want to just check to make sure that our after-tax cost is still 20% of sales. So we take the 1109334 divided by the revenues, or the sales, that we just determined. That was 5547226, and it does equal 20%. Okay, and that's how we solve this problem. Okay, I hope that was helpful.